Okay, uh, Detective Superintendent uh, Des Bray from Major Crime Investigation Section. Um, everyone ready? Uh, a short time ago, police arrested a 39-year-old Kadena man for a murder which occurred last night at Salisbury. Uh, what we know is that at about 6.18pm um, on Sunday the 10th of September, police and ambulance were called to Unit 8, number 15, Fisher Street at Salisbury. Um, that was in response to a person who had been seriously assaulted and very quickly after arriving, they identified that the person had been extremely violently um, killed and that it was clear to police on the scene that that would have been the attention of the person or persons responsible for the attack. I can tell you the victim is David Norris, who's a 39-year-old man um, from Hampstead Road at Northfield. Um, he is known to police and, is, and has been a member of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. Um, his status with that club is uncertain at the moment. Uh, some people say he still is a member and some people say he is not. We can confirm that at about 5.35pm that Mr Norris attended his premises. Um, he stayed in the street at the front for a few minutes and then went to the shed that he occupies at the back of 15 Fisher Street. At five past six, a white Commodore is seen to leave. We know that that vehicle contained four occupants. Um, and we know shortly after that vehicle left that Mr Norris's friend made a call to the ambulance and to police. Awaiting their arrival, he delivered um, CPR to the victim, um, but that wasn't successful. As I said, police arrived shortly afterwards and it was clear to them from the outset that this was a homicide. Major Crime Investigation Branch was recalled and worked with Elizabeth Holden Hill, CIB, Crime Gangs Task Force and forensic specialists through the night and had a scene guard um, on those premises overnight. They also secured Mr Norris's home at Northfield um, and maintained guard on that overnight and both of those premises have been subject of an extensive forensic investigation last night and today. Um, today um, officers from Kadena CIB, Major Crime and Crime Gangs Task Force attended at Kadena and executed three searches of premises and located the four people they believe had been at the premises and a 39-year-old man was arrested and charged with murder. Um, he's been charged at the Kadena Police Station and will be conveyed to Port Pirie Police Station this evening where he'll remain before he has a video link up with the Elizabeth Magistrates Court tomorrow. The other three occupants of the vehicle um, have either been interviewed or are in the process of being interviewed. Um, and um, their role is not yet clear. Um, what we want to know in particular from members of the public is anybody who was at um, 15 Fisher Street, Salisbury, between 5pm and 6.30pm yesterday. There's a number of businesses that operate in that area um, and there were vehicles seen uh, leaving the premises and it's quite likely there's other people who were there. So anybody who's there between 5pm yesterday and 6.30, Contact Crime Stoppers tonight. Let us know you were there and what you were doing there so that we can exclude you from the investigation. What was the motive for the matter? Um, given that he's been charged, we can't um, really go into that um, at this stage. Um, can the you? other four men um, that you located at Kadena, do they have links to Viking Games? Th three, other, three other men. Um, the, we have the arrested person plus three other people. We say that they are the four people that left in the vehicle. Um, and the links of those other people, that's still being explored at the moment. Do they have links to the Hells Angels or Viking Games? Uh, they had links to the person who's been arrested. Um, their links to other people were yet to be explored. And Superintendent, the, the arrested man, does he have any links or associations or memberships of any outlaw motorcycle? He's, he's not a member of any gang, but he is extremely well known to law enforcement in this state. Can you elaborate? No. Was David Norris organised law enforcement? Yeah, he was. He, um, he had an extensive record, but notwithstanding the fact that he's a Hells Angel um, member in the past and um, is well known to police, um, we investigate his death just as we would any other um, person's death. He has um, um, family, he has friends. Um, it's completely unacceptable and we'll...
pursue this investigation vigorously. Superintendent, was there any, um, has there been any police activity in the last few months or last couple of years at either Mr Norris's Hampstead Road address or his business premises at Salisbury? Um, I won't go into that. Can you remember on how he was killed or where he was found? Yeah, he, um, at the premises, he occupies a large shed at the back. He operates a business called Northern City Tipper Hire. Um, and has a number of trucks and he has contracts associated with that work. So he operates a business from a large um, shed at the back, which he leases. What alerted me was his friend's room? Yes, he was. He was found inside the shed. Was it, what? can you talk us through, was there a weapon used? Was this a planned hit? Was it opportunistic? Was there an argument that developed into a fight? And it's, it's not clear um, why it occurred, um, but there is nothing to indicate it's as a result of any sort of gang rivalry between um, members of the public and gangs or between various gangs. There's nothing to indicate anything like that. Do you anticipate more arrests, Superintendent? Um, we're interviewing um, a number of other people and we have people that we do need to interview and at this stage we're not able to rule out um, any further arrests. You say that he was known to police. Can you uh, elaborate, was he uh, currently the subject of any criminal proceedings when he was... Because he's going to appear before the court, so I won't go into that. What weapon was used? You're right. Uh, what alerted the friend to the body? Um, the friend um, had been at the premises, um, is associated with the victim, um, had left, and we believe he returned and found him. So, so he didn't, he didn't see a see member of any potential motorcycle gangs, or was he just an employee of the premises? Um, he has been a member himself of a gang. And was he a suspect in this? No, not at this stage. Uh, no, not at this stage. Do you know whether he, he witnessed the attack at all? Or? Um, I won't go into it too much because about that because we're still doing interviews and I just want to make sure that what I say to you is, is factual as opposed to what may or may not be true. Was he caught on CCTV? I won't go into that. Superintendent, um, can you... What are police going to allege in court how Mr Norris uh, actually died. I can't say that. That will be a matter for them when they complete the file and the file's not yet complete. Do you believe that they came to that address intending to do that? Um, or, you know, did they sort of drive from Kadena straight there and then go straight back? It's unclear. Uh, was, there, was there a weapon using yeah. Tell us what the weapon was. Um, at this stage, we can't, for operational reasons, disclose exactly how he died and whether or not a weapon was used or what that weapon might be. It may be down the track that that will be alleged and become public. But you're, ass you're asserting that he was assaulted um, as opposed it to... Was an extremely, was it was an extremely violent attack and there were no firearms used. Were there any pending criminal matters that may have led to this matter involving Mr. I won't talk about that. Um, final question, Superintendent. Um, can you uh, um, uh, explain or reveal... Um, the, um, uh, any type of motive that may have led to... Um, we think the investigation of... will uncover that, but that's not something I could share with you at this time. And is this in any way linked to the shooting at Mawson Lakes today? There is nothing at all at this stage to link what happened to Mr Norris with anything else that occurred recently. You know. And was Mawson Lakes a biking incident? Do you believe bikers were that's... involved? Not anything that our office has involvement with. How is Mr Norris's family? Uh, I haven't spoken to his family, but along with the normal process, his family will be provided support by our victim contact officers and investigators. So you've arrested one guy, is at court period at the moment? Or why you no, he's at Kadena, and um, later on tonight he'll be transported to Port Pirie and he'll remain there until a link up with court. And what led police to that Kadena address? I can't share that with you. OK, thank you. Thank you, Chief Thank you. Thank you. What about the other three dogs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to clarify that.